Hello friends, this video on Electrochemistry part 25 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The question says the conductivity of sodium chloride at 298 has been determined at different concentration and the results are given. These are all con uh, conductivity of NaCl, sorry, the concentration of NaCl and this is my 100 into K. 100 into K. So K will be 100 into uh, K is conductivity. So K will be what? This by 100, everything by 100. That is what you will get value of K. You have to find the lambda m for all concentration plot between lambda m and root c and you need to find the value of lambda m. So let's find lambda m for all the concentration and find root c value and then we can find the lambda m from the graph itself. So let's see this. So the same question here. This is my NaCl concentration. The c value of c 0 0.001 is here. 0 0.01 is here, 0 0.02 is here, 0 0.05 here, 0 0.1 here. As I told here, the conductivity is given in 100 into this, so I'll just make conductivity here, so everything has to be divided by 100, correct? The same values I have written here. Now, lambda m, lambda m is nothing but k by c. What is the value of k here? k is in s per meter Siemens per meter this is Siemens per meter but I have to convert this into Siemens centimeter square per mole so what I will do I will divide this by 100 correct I will divide this k by 100 to make it into Siemens per instead of meter it will, meter, it will be per centimeter correct and then c c is what here it is moles per liter. Concentration is moles per liter. I have to make it as moles per centimeter cube, right? This is in C is in moles per liter. I have to make it in moles per centimeter cube. So one liter is nothing but 10 centimeter cube. Correct? Instead of liter, I am making centimeter cube. That means I will be dividing in 10 cube, that is somewhere 1000 will come here. So this will become moles per centimeter. So if we solve this, cancels, what you get is 10 K by C. And the unit will be what? Siemens. This is centimeter per centimeter, this is centimeter cube. Centimeter cube into per centimeter is centimeter square and it will be per mole. So it will be 10 K by C. And if you see, that's what I wrote, 10 K by C. So let's find the value of 10 k by c for all. 10 into k this value 1.237 into 10 to the power minus 2 by c that is 0 0.001. And this value will come out to be 123.7. Let's find the value of 10 k by c here. 10 into k is this value 11.85 10 to the power minus 2. C is this value 0 0.01. This comes out to be 118.5. Let's find here 10 k is this value 23.15 10 to the power minus 2 by c is 0 0.02. This comes out to be 115.8. Simply 10 into k this value 55.53 10 to the power minus 2 by c is 0 0.05. It comes out to be 111.1. Similarly, here 10 into k this value 106.74 10 to the power minus 2 by c is 0.1, it comes out to be 106.7. Similarly, you have to find root c because you have to plot the graph between root c and uh, lambda m, right? So root c is given, you will find root c, root of 0 0.001, that is nothing but 0 0.0316, root of 0 0.01 is 0.1, root of 0.02 is 0 0.1414, root of 0.05 is 0 0.24, simple maths. And then root of 0.1 is something like 0.316. Let's plot the graph now. At 0.1 concentration, this is my 0.1 concentration. The value is 0.31, uh, the value is 106.7. So it will be somewhere here, 106.7, somewhere here only, right? Actually, yeah. And then we have to plot for uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.05. It is 111. 0 0.05 the concentration will come out somewhere here then I have 0 
somewhere here and its value is 0.115 somewhere here correct and then I have 0.1 there is somewhere here and the value will come at 0.8 here actually and then I have point zero zero one very less it will be one twenty three somewhere here right so we see almost if you just join this and this for strong electrolyte right you just join this in a straight line I didn't draw it properly just drawing it in a straight line this will hit somewhere here one twenty four so this is hitting 124 here that means my lambda m naught is 124 unit is same that is Siemens centimeter square per mole why because this is my molar, uh, molar, molar conductivity at infinite dilution correct pretty easy little bit mass involved but the question is pretty straightforward Suggest a way to determine lambda m0 for water. See, water is a very weak electrolyte. If you just keep water, it won't dissociate. Right? It's a very weak electrolyte. If I want to find the lambda m0, that means infinite dilution, water you will not be able to calculate using your normal physics instrument, which soon breeze. Right? So we will use the Kirchhoff law, you will say that lambda H2 is nothing but lambda of uh, maybe H plus and OH minus, if you know these values in the table, right? Or what you can do is, water you can uh, say something like this, you know the lambda m0 of HCl you can find, the lambda m0 of NaOH you can find, and lambda m0 of NaCl you can find. Now if you see, if you add these two equations and subtract this, chlorine, chlorine subtract, and then subtract, you get HOH. So I can say that lambda naught of water is nothing but lambda naught of HCl plus NaOH minus lambda naught of NaCl. That is also one way of doing it. The next question is, the molar conductivity of 0 0.025 mole per liter, this is my concentration, methanoic acid is given, this is lambda M calculates its degree of dissociation and dissociation constant right so we'll have to find k and we have to also find the alpha correct we have been given that lambda naught of h plus and lambda naught of hco minus is given so the equation i have is hcos is nothing but hco minus plus So I have to find alpha. So alpha is nothing but if you see lambda m by lambda m naught. Correct. Lambda m is given. Lambda m naught. If I can find, I can find alpha. How can I find lambda uh, lambda m naught? If I can find using the Kolderos law. So if you see here, the lambda naught for HCOH will be nothing but lambda naught for HCO minus plus lambda naught of H plus. Kolderos law. This is given 5.6 Siemens per centimeter square per mole. Please take care of this unit. And this is given 349.6 Siemens per centimeter square per mole. You add this to you get 404.2 Siemens centimeter square per mole. So what you have got? You have got the lambda naught also. Lambda m is given already. We can find alpha. Correct. So this is given 46.1 semen centimeter square per mole. Here also please take care of unit. This is semen centimeter square per mole. So had in the question if the units were different here, then the question would have become complex. But since the unit is both same here, question is a little easy. So if we solve this, you get 0.14. K we can easily find for this equation we know it will come out to be C alpha square by 1 minus alpha. Very easily you can take C as the concentration earlier 
This is zero, this is zero. At the equilibrium, this becomes C into one minus alpha, this becomes C alpha, this becomes C alpha. So K is nothing but concentration of COO minus concentration of H plus divided by concentration of COH. There is nothing but C alpha into C alpha by C one minus alpha. It will come out to be C alpha square one minus alpha. Put the value of C is nothing but 0 0.025 mole per liter. Please note here I am taking moles per liter only, right? I am not taking uh, mole per meter cube or centimeter cube. Alpha I have. 0.114 square and this is the 1 minus alpha that is 0.114 it's all the values you get 3.67 into 10 to the power minus 4 moles per liter because there is no unit for alpha and that is the value of k correct the last question of this uh, molar conductivity pretty easy question we have been given the conductivity uh, is this value conductivity of a 0.2 m solution that is this the c is given to be this value we have to find its molar conductivity pretty easy lambda is k by c we know it what is the value of k k is 0 0.0248 siemens per centimeter what is the value of c c is 0.2 moles per liter but i want in centimeter so one liter is nothing but 10 centimeter square 10 centimeter cube So if you solve this, you get 124 Siemens centimeter square per hour. That is the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.